President Obama is poised to sign a $1.1 trillion spending bill following late-night passage by the Senate on Saturday. That did not happen without a spirited, at times angry, debate. Here's Juliana Goldman. Just after 10 o'clock last night, the Senate finally reached a compromise. The A's are 56, the nays are 40. The more than 1,600-page spending bill will fund the federal government through the fall of 2015. Tea Party activists opposed a measure that loosens limits on individual contributions to national political parties. Liberal Democrats, including Elizabeth Warren of Massachusetts, opposed the weakened banking regulations. Now, I'm here today to ask my Republican colleagues who don't want to see another Wall Street bailout. And conservative Republicans, led by Texas Senator Ted Cruz, delayed debate on the bill to protest President Obama's immigration actions. This point of order is targeted not to the entire omnibus, but specifically to the DHS funding that the president has announced will be spent unconstitutionally. But the delay, which kept senators working all day Saturday, actually worked in Democrats' favor. They used the extra time to advance more than 20 presidential nominations before their party loses control of the chamber next year. And they still found time to spread some holiday cheer. New Jersey's Cory Booker tweeted this photo of several of his colleagues singing Christmas carols as they ate dinner just outside the Senate chamber with the hashtag CR Omnibus Carols. Jeff, it doesn't look like that hashtag is trending, but don't expect the holiday spirit to last into 2015. This fight highlighted tensions between the parties and within. Senator Cruz is taking heat from other Republicans for bringing them back to the brink of another shutdown. Juliana, thank you.